Hello there, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Outpaint feature in the Stable Diffusion Lab UI. First of all, you're going to launch it, so just wait for it to complete. Once the web UI is running, you're going to generate a random image that you want to use in the Outpaint tool, for example. And then you're just going to hit generate. I'm going to change up my sampling method first. Then you're going to send this to the image to image area. And then change the script to four man's out painting. And then you're going to max out this pixels to expand. And you can just adjust the max slash there on your own. For the content, uh, you're just going to hit fill. And the out painting direction, we want it to go up. You can just select all of these if you want to do outpaint or expand in every direction. You're going to make sure your sampling method is the same one that you used earlier to generate the image. And then you're just going to hit generate. Now you won't get your exact results in your very first generation. So you're going to have to keep trying again and again until you get your, well, until you get your needed result. I think we have a decent output already. You can see that it like slightly expanded it upwards. Uh, earlier our image was a square, now it's uh, now it's in a portrait format and it actually expanded upwards and generated more trees. Otherwise, you can also do this with control net, but this method is the easier one. And that other one will get you better results though. So you can like control your images more with control net. But if you're just looking for an easy solution, this is your best option. Now you can try this with another image by going into text to image, just generating a new one like this. Hit generate and wait for it to create your result. Now, once you have this, image you're going to send it to your image to image tab again you can hit this button it looks like an image or it looks like a painting so just hit this it's going to take this image to your image to image you're going to scroll down again select your script to the poor man's out painting change the pixels to expand you can actually uh, change the out painting direction to up and down or maybe left and right too so like in every direction it's just going to make it bigger and then you're just going to hit generate but you have to make sure your sampling method is the same as your original one or else you can get some mixed up results with this and it's done generating you can see that it actually made us a better result and it properly outpainted the image but it did add something on the top of its head right here and it did not really generate the hair properly while going downwards as you can see it just made a line and then drew around it you can obviously generate this again and again until you get your best results or you can mess around with these settings for example your cfg scale your cfg scale and the denoising strength these are all something you can change. Otherwise, that sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.